Hey YouTube, it's Robert and today we're gonna change out a deadbolt and a doorknob. We're gonna replace it with this new security set here from Quickset that's got both the deadbolt and the doorknob in one box. This is from the Signature Series and of course I'll include the information down below. So our most immediate need for changing this deadbolt out is that as it's started to function worse and worse over time, eventually we had a key that broke off in the lock and so we're gonna go ahead and just start from scratch. I'm not gonna try to you know, continue using this current deadbolt and just remove this key because it's just not been working well anyways. We also have the finish that's been wearing off of the inside of the doorknob. So again, just a great opportunity to take this little bit of a tragedy here and use it to upgrade our door. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna remove our existing and we're gonna go ahead and just unscrew all of the screws that we see on our knob and our deadbolt here as well as on our uh, two plates on the side of the door. Alright, deadbolt's out. So we've got our old set removed and now we're ready to put our new set on. So we start out with our doorknob here which is currently connected and so we want to remove these two sides. We're not going to unscrew these bolts though. We actually have little slots in here so we're just going to give it a quarter turn and pull those apart leaving them still in the actual holes. We're going to go ahead and put our latch in. So we want that to go with the sloped side facing the door frame. So we're going to put that right through here and we want to make sure that this component is centered if we need to extend this for any reason, there's this little pin here. We can move up to slide that over if you have maybe a deeper depth here. But for me, uh, I don't need to do that. So we're just gonna push that back. We want it right dead center in there. And it comes with the screws that we're gonna use to put this in. I'm gonna use a drill to shoot this in real quick. I'm gonna do it very slowly and controlled, but I'm saving myself a little bit of forearm work uh, by using the drill instead of the screwdriver. So I push my latch in while I start installing this, lining my curved portion of the knob with the curved opening in the latch. And obviously making sure our bolts go through there. Same thing, we have a curved opening to match the shape of our centerpiece. We need to line that up. And we're gonna slightly turn our doorknob to once again clear those screws until we can line those up through the knob hole there. And there we've got our doorknob installed. Testing, testing out the key that came with it. We can lock it and unlock it. 
And now we're gonna go ahead and do our deadbolt. It's gonna be very similar to our doorknob install. We have our latch. We have our two sides uh, of our deadbolt. We've got all of our screws and bolts, and we've got our little smart key feature, which we're gonna use later to reset this lock. And then we have our door strike if we need it. And just like before, we wanna make sure that our latch holes are centered inside of our door hole here. If we need to extend it, this actually has a little channel that we can uh, do a 180 degree turn to lengthen that, uh, but in this case we don't need to. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that that is centered in the door. We're going to go ahead and extend our bolt here, and then we're going to screw our latch into place. And you can see there is a little indication for which side is up, so we want to make sure that that's what we follow when we install this. With our latch in place, we can go ahead and install our outside half of our deadbolt, channeling our little rod there right through the hole. And we've got that part through, and we're ready to put the other half on. Then we have our other side, and again, we have a little indication of the arrow facing up, but because we brought our latch out and had everything in line the way it was supposed to be before, um, we're gonna be able to really easily have our same shaped pieces all in line and have the outsides uh, facing the directions that they should be. And we should be able to drive our bolts right through and with everything lined up we can go ahead and tighten those in place. You want to do this by hand so that you can make sure it's in line and you can kind of feel that you're grabbing on where you're supposed to which you can't always do as well with a drill especially if you go too fast. The door strike that came uh, with the knob actually matches the existing here. However, for our deadbolt, this door strike is a completely different size. So I would be needing to notch out a new one for my door here. And the deadbolt fits right in here perfectly, so I don't need to mess with this one. If I wanna change this out just to update it, uh, I certainly can, but I also don't have to as long as everything's functioning fine with the existing. And now the last thing we're going to have, I'm going to show you guys, is we're going to rekey our doorknob and deadbolt. And if you look at the hole where the key goes, right next to it is another small little hole. That's where our little smart key is going to go that's going to allow us to rekey this lock. Now, each of these comes with a key, and as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there's a little code that shows what key it is. So because I'm rekeying all of my doors, I was able to get three keys uh, or three sets that use the same key and then three other sets that used a different key. So I'm just gonna convert those all to the same uh, key now. So you can see here the key that it initially came with works on the deadbolt. And then I switch to a set from one of the other boxes and it fits this but it doesn't actually operate it 
um, and not every key is going to be compatible with these. So the key that you currently had on your old may or may not even make it into this hole. If it will go into this hole, it should be compatible. But if you can't get your key fully inserted, then that key is probably not compatible with the quick set lock and you'll just need to, you know, go to a new key. Okay, we're going to go ahead and lock it. And then we're going to turn our key 90 degrees. Once we've turned that key 90 degrees, we're going to insert our smart key tool. Pushing it in and then we're going to remove the smart key tool, take our old key out without turning it. With that in place, we're going to enter our new key in. We're going to turn it 180 degrees and then 90 back up to the top. Now our new key will operate our deadbolt. So that takes about 30 seconds to do or less. We'll do that for both our deadbolt and then we'll do it again for our doorknob. So now you can see here my key that works for my deadbolt. No longer doesn't work for my doorknob yet. My old key still works for the doorknob. So again, we're going to make sure that we get it locked first. Then we're going to quarter turn it 90 degrees. Taking our smart key tool, we're going to put that in that hole again, pressing it in and removing it. Old key comes out, A new key goes in, turning it 180 and then 90 back into its original place. Now, I can lock it with my new key and my old will no longer work. So then we just got to keep track of our keys. You know, eventually most of you are probably going to customize your keys. Uh, maybe you won't, but you want to make sure uh, you don't throw any of them away until you've completely identified uh, what your newest key is. I would also make sure that you hold on to your little smart key lock so that you always have that ability to just very quickly and easily reset these locks. And so that's it. This whole project takes maybe 10 minutes or so to do. If you've got multiple doors, I'd say each one will get a little bit quicker for you. And you might have a slightly different configuration of a door. You might be looking at a little bit of a different doorknob and deadbolt, but uh, for the most part, if you follow the step-by-step -step instructions that come with your specific set, along with some of the steps that I showed in this video, I have no doubt you guys can tackle this project on your own. I do highly recommend the one that I got if you have a similar configuration where you're looking for both a knob and a deadbolt. Um, the quick set uh, feature with the smart key technology is a really nice uh, thing to have to be able to quickly set all your locks to the same key. So I will link this specific product down below in the info. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I'll always try to help you out with any of those as well. And until next time, my name is Robert. Happy remodeling and have a great day.